Okay, today we want to see how you can um, use Visual Studio Code for your um, your apps or your sites, whatever you have on Glitch. We have used uh, Glitch for our for our site, and uh, you see we have made in uh, in another tutorial. We have seen how to use Python and Flask to make a blog like this one and we will continue this uh, this series of tutorial and we can use on glitch.com uh, we can make our project and modify them uh, here and everything we do will be soon on online like you have seen but you can also use uh, Vidver Studio Code to edit your project if you prefer so I have uh, just uh, done this like uh, I went to the extension here go here and go right glitch and you will find the glitch and so I have already installed it and uh, you just have to press install here and once you have done this you go into the the co to the command palette and do write glitch show commands and here you will see there will be the sign in um, press on sign in to I am just seeing if I go and uh, sign out you see there is a bye bye here and uh, let's go back to the command palette and the show command sign in uh, sign in with on glitch.com you are being redirected and you see open visual studio code hello the extension yes i hello this extension too and so sign in successfully successful here it is so okay now if you now you gotta uh, gotta go here in the comments comment palette and go show comments show comment and go open project you see all your project. This is the last one that I use it. A Python tutorial, or maybe I got Flask Python, Flask tutorial. I got this Flask and Python. These are similar. Let me go to Python tutorial. And let me go. Open project Python tutorial and it should open. Okay, uh, there was some problem, maybe, but here is our Python tutorial with the 
start as age run by and if you go here and uh, and you change something here follow me on YouTube and you go to into the browser on Python tutorial you see if I go if I go here you see that there is follow me on YouTube on the on the editor if I go on the page and I go yeah with the refresh you see the things that I edit I must put a slash n here Let's go back here. The slash n is also here, and if you go and do refresh, I should see it on the next line. Maybe there is not not enough space. Well, let's go back to the original version. Let's refresh it. You see it's going back to the original. So that's how you can uh, you can do it. You can use Visual Studio to modify your uh, your glitch app.